This is Rod Cousin and Spooman for Monday, June 6, 2011. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. The uh, trend strategy has uh, been adjusted and is pulling trades, but what we'd like to do is uh, talk a little bit more about what we discussed on Friday with regard to the volume indicator and the white bars. Now, we mentioned at that time that these white bars on the volume indicator are definitely not ambiguous. They're, in fact, uh, as far as I can tell, they're predictive. So we're going to go backward here and just show you some of the manual trades that could have been taken based upon the information that we're gleaning from our uh, white volume bars. So let's go back to the, uh, oh, let's take it back to earlier today before the, op or just after the open. Okay, so let's look at the obvious. All right now we've got a, a stretch of white bars right in here and these are below the zero line. So that would indicate that the lows in here are going to be exceeded. Now we have a retracement line already showing up here at the open and the white bars are indicating the same thing. Now it's been asked, well what if you've got a lot of white bars, which one are you really referring to? Look at the other volume indicators on shorter tick intervals to answer that question. So for example, we've got a white bar right in here on the ES500. That corresponds to the low of 1296.50. So this would indicate the market should drop below 96.50. So for good reason then we can look to take a short trade at least back down to that level. But now here's where it come, becomes really interesting. And we're going to expand this up a bit so that you can see what we're talking about. Let's look at this uh, time frame in here. All right. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to see this, and the, the resolution is going to be good. So here it's telling us we're going to be coming back down. All right. So with that thought in mind, we're, going to, we're, be, we're coming back down below 96.50. There's the bar. This is the bar that we're referring to. So now, when are we going to take the short trade? All right. Well, the converse is true with regard to the white bars above the zero line. A white bar above the zero line indicates that the market should continue to go up. So if we look at just the ES100 here, we don't want to take a trade here because the white bar indicates we're going higher or at least equal to 97.25 on the next bar we succeed at doing that. The following bar is a white bar so here it's suggesting we're going to go above 97.75 greater than or equal to it I think would be a fair assessment. So the market does go above. Now when your volume bars change color from green, because you don't want to take a, a, a short trade on a green bar, that indicates we still have positive volume there. We could take a trade here. Why? Well, one reason, and we're just going to refer to the, the volume bars here for the moment. The bar is red. Okay, so that could be a basis for taking a short trade. The bar is red, volume is dropping, we could take a short trade there. Another approach would be to wait for the crossover. But in this case what we want to do is we want to, to see a crossover at the high. 
So the market's gone up to 98.25 here. If we can get 98.25 on a red bar or a crossover, we should be able to make a nice trade here. So once again, the high was 98.25. On a red bar at 98.25, we should be able to pull the trade. Now, notice what happens here. And we didn't get it, by the way. <laughs> we didn't get it. But over here on the ES500, it's indicating that we should be going higher than 98. Greater than or equal to would do. 98.25 finally happens over here. Okay? And what are the color of the bars? Red here. There's a white bar here. Okay, there is a white bar. But it's also red there. So there is a little ambiguity in this case. But we already have good reason to expect this thing to come down because of what we saw over here. So taking the trade right in here, either on a red bar or a crossover, should do the trick. And it does. Okay? It's real obvious there. Now, what do we know as it's coming down? We come down to 96.25, uh, or pardon me, 95.75, pardon me. 95.75, the bar is white. What does it suggest? We should go less than or equal to 95.75. But what we'd want to see happen when that occurs, if we're going to take a long trade, is for the bars to be green or a crossover. So there's your goal, 95.75. The ES100 is on a green bar. You're on a green bar here at 95.75 on the ES. 300. So at that price on a green bar or a crossover, you want to take the trade. And it works. It doesn't give you a lot, but it does work. It's successful. Now we have white bars again. We're going back up 97.25 or better. 97.50 and we're on a red bar. So the slope is, is down based on the ES100. So at 9720, uh, 97.50, I should say, we could take a short trade. Or wait for a crossover. We're not going to get quite as good a fill. And it comes down. Real nice. See how predictable this is? This is great. Now we've got a white bar here at 97.25 and it doesn't go any higher. So what do we do when it fails? If we were looking to take the short trade there, we're going to save 97.25 as a future target. But we'll continue trading with the same concept but we'll just be aware, 97.25 is a target. Don't know when that's going to get hit. So we'll just wait for the next setup. Okay, just going to wait for the next setup. So the market comes down here, and here we have some white bars on the ES500. Indicates we're going to go a little lower. Market goes up just a smidgen, all right, to 95.75, and turns red. So we may be able to take a short trade there and wait for some sort of a drop, and it does. It makes a nice drop. 
Here again, a white bar. It's going lower. It does. Here, we've got another white bar. Suggests we're going lower. Okay, these two bars are both white. Here is a white bar. The next bar on the ES500 is white. So there's your indication of the likelihood of it coming down. So wait for it to come up a little bit. You've got a white bar there, here. Wait for it to go either to 94.50 or better on a red bar. You've got it on the ES100 right there. Or you've got a crossover taking place right here. So either a red or a crossover I think is safe. So a nice short there. It's going to come back down and it does. Drops to 93.25. Not a lot, but there's a trade there. Now over here you've got some, again, some information predicting a possible move below 93.50. We've got a little bit of a rise here. Okay, we've got a white bar. Got some white bars right in here. Wait. 94.75 or better on a red bar should give us a basis for taking a trade. That goes to 95. That goes back down to 94.75 on another white bar. And finally, right in here, we're at 94.75 on a red bar and indication for uh, a short trade right in here. Now right now all of what we're saying is is got to be done manually but this doesn't look like it's going to be very hard to code. It's a very simple approach. It comes down nicely for a few ticks. Let's look for another setup here. These white bars indicate will probably come lower than 92.75. She jumps up to 93.75. So you've got a point there. You're on a red bar. You've got nothing saying that it's going any higher. So fine on a red bar or a crossover. Take the trade. Down she comes. This looks real easy. <laughs> All right. So we've got some lows in here, but nothing really setting us up to 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 go very far. We need, to, we need the market to, to move away from those lows in order for us to take a safe trade. We've got some white bars in here. So 91 or less is where we expect the market to go. We've got a nice white bar here indicating 92.25 or better. And we get 92.75 on a red bar here take the trade. System trades over here, but with a different set of rules. And we won't even talk about those rules right now. Market comes down. Market's continuing to drop, continuing to drop into right here. We've got white bars here and another one here. So what we're going to do if we're going to take a long trade, we want us to be at 1290 or less on a green bar to take a long trade. And we've got some nice green bars right in here taking a long trade. Market moves up to 91.25 or in white bars and it continues to move higher. Now let's I think you've got the idea. So let's put this into practice. Okay. I took a nice system trade here. Let's look for another opportunity. Let's let's see what this is telling us the market's going to do. We've got a white bar above the uh, zero line on the ES100. So if you're going to, so we're expecting this is likely going to go higher. But you've got a white bar below the 
the uh, zero line on the S500 on the same. Uh, oh, pardon me, that bar has not completed. That bar has not completed, so let's not predict anything until the bar completes. So we'll just have to. Market is moving fairly slow here. Where could we have t taken a short trade here? Well, you had a white bar here indicating possible rise above 94.25. Right in here, 94 takes it to 94.25. You're then on a red bar, possible short right there. But if you shorted it right there, turned right around, started to go higher. Here you were at 95 on a white bar, 95 again on a white bar, and 95 again on a red bar. So there's a, another short trade right in here. Okay, we've got nothing going on right now. I'm just going to put it on pause for the moment until we have something predicting the future. Okay, we've got the uh, ES100 white bar here. Market's at 92. So we, we may want to see that go higher, and it does. We're now at 92.25. Pull this over. There we go. 92.25. Bar is still green. Market should continue to go up. We don't want to short it unless we're on a red bar at or above 92.25. Okay, there was our red bar on the ES100, so we could take a short trade right in here. Or we could wait for the ES300 to go red. There's your first indication right here that the market's coming down. Now, as we're waiting here, there's just a couple of other things that, uh, if you're trading manually, you may want to uh, be aware of. Your Z score on the ES50, all right, you'd want to see that Z score dropping when you take a short trade. The Z-score on the ES300 is still moving up, as is the one-minute bar shown here. Now you see it's ticking down. So if you were watching these other indicators, you may want to use that information as you trade manually. Now, the strategy does already take that into consideration. But if you're trading manually, now as this begins to turn, it's a more probable trade. Got another white bar that's just showing up here. Now, it's updating intra bar, by the way. So we really need to wait for it to finish to know for sure. But it looks like this will continue to drop to some degree. Now we had a retracement down here uh, based upon 
what happened earlier today right in here. See the white bars here on the ES500 suggesting a, a drop below 90.25. We're still waiting for that, but it looks like it's about to occur. So, as we mentioned, if we if the bars don't uh, if the predictive value of the bars is not filled in in reasonably short order, you can save that data for future reference, but continue to trade based upon new information. So we've got, a, I think, a 97.25 that wasn't hit either. So that's sort of saved, as is this 90.25 level. Now, as we're waiting for that to occur, we come down here. Market uh, dropped to 91. All right, went a little lower. And the ES100... Let's move this back. On the ES100, we have we have the white bar here. It drops to 90.75. The bars are green, so that indicates we're we're going back up. So you're in the short here. Might be wise to take profits and look for another opportunity. Or the other approach, pull your stop to break even and see if she drops to 90.25, which is the level predicted here. All right, we've got some more white bars. We're very close to that 90. Now we're at it right now, 90.25 level. That line's just a little bit off. It looks like we're going to go lower. So we don't want to take a long trade now until we drop below 1290. Okay, that profit, second profit target was hit. We'll erase this line now. In any event, I think you get the idea. Let's let's do. Um, let's see about taking. A, the overall trend is short, by the way. Right now, the overall trend is short. I mean, your ES three minute, seven minute, twelve minute. It's all red, indicating that overall the trend is down. So taking long trades, even with the uh, benefit of this approach is less uh, probable than taking a short trade. So I wouldn't recommend taking long trades at all in here. Wait for some sort of a retracement and then take another short. Here we momentarily we went up. We had another crossover here coming down nicely. And then probably going lower than 89 if that bar continues to, to be white, which it didn't, but it's still red. So that's also indicating that move down. A completed white bar here and here at 88.50. So we should be continuing to come down. Got a little retracement going on. So another opportunity for a potential short trade. We'll 
hold on to this. Green bar here, white, almost a white bar. So it should be going to at least 90 and a quarter. Got retracement up there at 90 and a half, it looks like. We should be able to predict when this will begin to turn. Okay, now you had a white bar here and you, at 90 and a half. Here's your white bar. We don't want to take a short trade unless we're at 90 and a half or better and the bars are red or crossover. Okay, we've got a red red bars here. All right. So taking short trade right in here. Looks like that will succeed. Now, what will indicate that this is going to work against us is if the bars at this level at 90 and a quarter if we start seeing these bars going green we may be in trouble and that's particularly on the ES100 or the 300 now if you're working off of the 500 you're not short yet But it's a little harder for the 500 to go negative and yet still be at a high. Because we know that 9050 was the high here. Now we see a green bar forming here, so that trade could be in trouble. So we may want to tighten the stop or let it drop a little bit and just simply get out. A white bar there at 90 and a half. So again, don't want to short this unless we're at 90 and a half or better, and the bars need to be red or at a crossover. 90.75 should be going higher. These bars close red, and they did, so here we're short again. And keep in mind, we're not looking to get out until we're back at 88.50. So, you know, a fill in here at, at 1290 is going to be good for at least a point and a half. Now the bars on the three minute are green here. Our studies have indicated you want to be very careful about taking a, sh a short trade when these bars are green. You're much better off when they're red. Now you can make successful trades, don't get me wrong, but there's, that's a caution. We see that as a caution. When these bars are green, there's a little bit of need to exercise some caution there. Wouldn't go in with a lot of contracts. 
on a short trade. But we still have indications of a short based on these other bars here. We have a, a, uh, a white bar on the ES300 here that's above the zero but below the zero here. That's ambiguous. But we're below the zero line here, so there's a possibility that that will begin to drop very shortly here. The ES50 is beginning to move down, looking at the Z score. Same is true of the ES300. The one at the moment is ticking up a little bit. If we go down here to the premium, the premium is moving down. In fact, below the zero line right now on the z-score and the one minute uh, premium still ticking up a bit and it's above the zero line so the ES3 uh, the uh, premium on the ESINX 300 is going to be a little bit more responsive it is below zero I put a magenta trend line here at 88.50. That's where our white lines were over here. So we should see this drop. Premiums dropping as well. And we want to pay particular attention at this juncture on these short trades. It looks like this market's going to come back and uh, move higher right now. So moving a stop or dumping these short trades makes some sense for a couple of good reasons. Number one, your ES3 minute is ticking above the zero line, and it's green. That's indicating that this is likely going to move higher. And now we see the white bars here. It is moving higher. It just moved back to 90.75. So while, again, a short trade will ultimately work here, right now it's not a particularly good time to be short. Just give this a little bit more time. We have red bars in here now, and so we could be looking to take a short trade on this next bar. Reason being, the 100 and the five, uh, pardon me, the one and the 300 are red. Volume is decreasing, and on the three minute. We were at 68.43, dropped to 59.40, it's up to 57.20 now. We've got white bars below the zero line, indicating a further drop. So this could be a safe place to be. Premium is dropping as well. Now, as we dipped in here, you noticed how the volume bars went green again. And we had some white bars on the ES500. It's going up. So if you're in this trade hoping for 8825 and you see this happening, you need, you need to take action. Okay? Can't just hold that trade and expect this thing is going to work. There's good indication that it was going to drop, but at the moment, it's turning against you. So you've got to take action to protect yourself here because of the indication of the volume coming back into the market. Positive volume. Trade could easily get stopped down. So when do we see this likely to move again? Back down. 
red bars here. There's a white bar possibly. So I would I wouldn't take a short trade yet. Unless this crosses over. With this bar being green, there's still still enough positive volume here that the market could go up, up a little bit higher. Now we've confirmed that that's negative, so there we are. And we have a crossover. Fifty is ticking down, the premium is ticking down as well. So all that's a good indication. Now what's still contrary is the three minute. The three minute is back up above the zero line. So it's very you've got to be very cautious about taking short trades when this three minute bar is green because that trend tends to last a little while. And here the one the ES100 is possibly green here ticking up again. Now you have both the the, the 3 minute and the seven minute and the 12 minute shows some positive volume. So taking short trades right at this particular time, rather dangerous because we have positive volume moving into the market. Probably wouldn't want to hold on to this trade either. Right now you, you, you would be much better off flattening your position. You've got white bars indicating that the market will likely go higher. I'll sit right here. So with that foreknowledge at 91.75 and a pullback, if you're in this trade, dump it. Let's wait for it to go to 12.92. Or better. Now, actually, there may be a an opportunity to go long in here for a few ticks, really. Indication is the market will move higher, and I don't think we're quite ready to take a long trade in here. I'd be more confident taking a long trade using the ES300. Wait for that to uh, to go green. And now see what's happening to the ES300. ES300 is red. Or, pardon me, the ES3 minute is red. There's negative volume showing up here. System just took a short trade. Saw plenty of reasons to short it right there. But 91.75 is what's being suggested by these white bars here. So the system doesn't know that. That's not coded in. And based on this new information, I'm, I'm suggesting even though the, the system has shorted it, I might find it uh, a more probable trade to wait for it to come back up to, to 91.75.
let's see how this works out. Then now we're back to 91.75. The intrabar tick is negative on the ES100. We've got a white bar on the three minute. I think we're going to go higher here. And there's again good reason to suggest this. The ES3 is above the zero line. And we're seeing some momentum to the long increasing on the ES7 as well. As we mentioned, the ES12 is also green. So that's suggesting this is uh, moving up a bit. But I'm not really confident about any, any opportunity to go long in here. Uh, the overall pattern of the day is short. So this is a temporary move as far as we can tell. I'll wait for another opportunity to take a, take a short trade in here. But right now, we don't want to be short, so all of these short era, uh, these uh, short trades that we talked about earlier should should have been pulled, and just wait for a better opportunity. The three minute is going negative here. We've got a, a white bar here on the ES five hundred at ninety two. I would feel better waiting than shorting it just yet. On a red bar or a crossover at 92 or better. Now we're putting a uh, short on this bar uh, based on how this the current bar is going to uh, close. It looks like it's going to close negative. The premium had moved up quite a bit here away from the zero line. So a higher probability that as the premium comes down, it's going to pull the market down with it. So a new low for the day is still the goal. Eighty-eight, or, or pardon me, uh, ninety-two was predicted by this bar on the ES five hundred. So that's still a potential, but I saw just by close examination of what was going on, that that bar would probably be a good bar to short. Now, the system didn't get stopped out on that little move, but I think from a manual standpoint, that was a risky trade to hold on to. Okay, very soon now we should be seeing a new low for the day. 88.25 would give us a new low. That's a point away from where we are right where we are right now. Now if you watch the uh, premium indicator right here, As this begins to turn, the market will as well. And uh, that should be all we need to hit a new low. Z score on the premium is at 0.14. 
Now you see that it dropped to 0 0.09. It's ticking down. Market should follow. And we're just about there. We just tag the low for the day. So we see a little profit uh, taking uh, at uh, 88.50. That's natural. But that was the goal. That's what we predicted. Market should go lower after this little bit of a rebound. So we won't take up any more time. We've got the basic idea. We're asking uh, for our programmers to code up uh, this approach as well into our existing strategy. And we'll be happy to show you how that uh, looks when it finally gets automated. But this looks like it's got real good potential. So for that, we'll conclude our video. This is Rod Kusum and Spooman for Risk, and be sure to come and visit us at our website, uh, send us an email, uh, ask for a demo, we'll be happy to show you uh, what we're doing, and uh, I'm sure that we can help to improve your trading results as well. So once again, Rod Kusum and Spooman for Risk.